And welcome to the Atabolan Stadium for this final matchup in the Toyota Classic Cup between W Connection and the surprise team in the tournament, Club Sanu. Promises to be a very entertaining final matchup between these two teams. W Connection playing some of their best football we've seen this year. And Club Sando playing as well, playing their very best, defeating three Pro League teams on their way to making it to this final against W Connection here. W Connection led once more by Gerard Williams. Being, he's introducing his teammates. The CEO of the Pro League gets a scheme. The man greeting his teammates now, Tiba McKnight. Being possibly Club Sando's most outstanding player. They defeated Defense Force by a three goals to two margin. A 95th minute decider actually placing Club Sando in the finals. Modest doing the scoring on that one. But these two teams are very well rounded, very experienced. Even though Club Sando are a Super League team, they are filled with a lot of experience on their boots. But W Connection. In terms of football at the highest level, they do have much more experience than Club Sando. So we will commence this final, as I said before, double connection is there, all white. Club Sandu in their navy and yellow and the rhythm section has started. That'll be Azano, the Brazilian connection, getting it to Neil Benjamin. Benjamin Jr. trying to get there, yes he does, he's trying to control. Not being able to do so as he's been hounded off of that one. Trying to send one of field ricocheting of the body of Benjamin. Still staying with Hashim Asya here. Hey Benjamin Jr. One of the quicker players you'd see in Pro League football. Trying to get this one across here. Ja is Lozano. Here's Hashim Asya. Asya taking a shot. Oh, he's going to be just wide of the goal. Asya on the left footed shot there. Early and often you can expect from W Connection. Getting it all the way back. Cornelia Thomas, a former TN Tech player, trying to get some field. A beautiful ball here. Is he going to be able to get his boot on it? Trying to get the cross in, but it went out of touch before. Out for a goal kick. That's Cupid. Trying to get it ahead of Fredericks. Fredericks losing that one is back with Lozano. Arcia getting it wide here. And Benjamin Jr. He's trying to cut inside. He's doing a that's a good job. Here's Lozano. Lozano getting in here to White. Asha Masia. Asia on the right foot this time. Shot coming in. Goal! Goal W Connection. In the 11th minute, W Connection strike. Asha Masia in his second attempt of the game. First time he went to the left foot, went right, but went wide. This time, Andre Marcha, no match for the right foot from Asha Masia. Goal number one. And the scoring has begun. Asha Masia. Neil Benjamin Jr. Let's see what he can do on this right side. He has Jones streak in the middle. Ball inside. Opportunity. Jones. Oh! Left-footed player. Going for the left-footed shot there. Jones. Open. Had a very good opportunity. Very good ball from Neil Benjamin Jr. But knocking it straight over the bar. And W Connection getting the opportunities to start this one. Play who usually plays stopper for them. There's Jones trying to get it with Neil Benjamin Jr. As I said before, on countless occasions, he's very quick. Benjamin looking inside for Jones. It's actually falling to Ashimasi, is it? No, it's not as Cornel Thomas gets in the way with the boot out for a throw here. Marcia looking for Jones. Jones making a nice little run here. There's Marchand coming out. He loves to do that. There's Andre Marchand. Does it very well. Cornel Thomas. Drayton bringing down Ashimasi. That's a clear faller of oh, players. I'm being caught, being booked, the first booking of the game actually. This will be their first final for the 2013-2014 Pro League season. I just want to send up feet trying to get it to Neil Benjamin Jr. Benjamin Jr. with a speed opportunity. Here's Neil. Charge coming in, it's gonna be over bar. He made a nice little run. Dwayne Charles didn't know he was actually behind him. Came in like a thief in the night, took it from, from Charles, but not being able to finish. 
Here's Tiba McKnight getting it back with Rippers. Rippers trying to get ahead of Dreeton. Here's Rippers. Rippers trying to get inside, getting past. He's inside the area. What will Rippers do? He's getting it across. Oh, no. Not getting his head on tits. Skimming off the head, actually, of Modest, but still staying with Club Sando. Headed on now by Fredericks, but it's going to be out of. No, it's not. It's going to be controlled there by Fred, uh, Ryan Frederick. So that's good. The referee having a word with the players to calm, to keep it calm a bit as Drayton is getting in the face of Mikael Williams. Drayton is already playing with a yellow card. He has to be careful. Drayton already playing with a yellow card. He has to be careful. Getting a hug from Jared Williams there. The corner will be retaken. Better corner this time, is it? Yes, it is. It's coming inside. Headed up and into the arms of Jelani Archibald. And that's going to signal the end of the first half. Really making themselves, we're getting a better shape for themselves. So let's see what is the outcome of this one, ladies and gentlemen. As we go into the half, one goal to nil, W Connection. Stay tuned for second half action here in the Toyota Classic final between W Connection and Club Sandu. Just a one goal advantage for W Connection with 45 minutes to play, lots of time to be played. We remember that after 75 minutes, Club Sando were on top. Two goals to nil ahead of the of defense force in their semi-final encounter. But two quick goals for, the, for defense force gave them hope. But a 95th minute goal by Kevin Modest put the dagger the nail in the coffin and brought Club Sando to this final matchup. Ball coming inside, headed away there by, actually headed up there by Russell as Tiba McKnight fighting for this one, still threatening his club, Sando, shot coming in, it's just wide right of the goal there, from, that was Keron Smith. Club Sando trying to get this upfield to Modest, where's Modest as he's headed away there, he's using his body and being caught for the infringement, it's Modest. That's Mikael Williams, is done, Mikael Williams a very physically imposing player, strong build. I don't think that will take him out of this one. May have just had the wind knocked out of him as a physio is up. The entire bench for W Connection is also up, warming up. Guessing their staff isn't quite happy with how they've seen the start this one. Start of the second half, that is. All 10 players on the field currently for W Connection are in the area. Fredericks will be taking this one, I reckon. No, it's not this Rivers as it's power punched off a bar there by like Jelani Archibald. It was a nicely taken free kick, quickly taken as well. But Jelani Archibald was out to the task, punching it over the bar with his right hand. As you're seeing Mikhail Gordon coming onto the field in place of Neil Benjamin, who's out with a right hand. Right hand. Is it wide with Jamal Williams? Williams with Rivers on him, gets past him, but he gets his hand onto the ball as well. No call there by the referee. Inside for Ashamasi and that's actually that's Jones. Jones, left-footed player, he's getting it back here with Jao. And as I spoke, we are now seeing a player getting up for Club Sandu. Here's Ashamasi with a man on him. Oh, this could be interesting. Shot coming in. Oh, it's going to be back of the net. Back of the net, Jamal Williams. 2-0. The first shot of the second half, leaving goalkeeper Andre Marchand stunned. He had no idea about that one. Marchand standing still for a minute there. I thought he was he was in the defense force because he was standing at attention as that one went straight past him into the back of the net off the boot of the substitute Jamal Williams pinging. Here's Anthony Paris. Let's see if that can change. Can they change that, statist that statistic? Paris brought down there but it's still with Club Sando, Downing looking inside is, is cleared away by Mikel Williams. Still staying with Club Sando, however, he has Kamel Rivers. Rivers shot coming in, it's going to be parried away there by Jelani Archibald. Still staying with it, ball inside, going for the head is Modest. Headed down, punched away again by Jelani. Doing the hard work, Timo McKnight now, here's Drayton. He's looking inside and it's all oh, skimming over the bar. Opportunities, three in a row there for Club Sando, but Good work by Jelani, powering one, punching the other, and watching the other go over his head. Nothing wrong in public connection. And that is the whistle that crowns W Connection 
2013 Toyota Classic Champions. Defeating Club Sandu, two goals to nil. Direct TV, W Connection, your, 20, your 2013 Toyota Classic Champions.